Your student loans don't have to be your enemy. You just need to know the right questions to ask about your student loans so you can better understand what lies ahead. The more you know, the more power you have to conquer them. Student loans can be really helpful for those of us who need the financial assistance in order to get a higher education. I myself took out student loans in order to get my undergraduate degree. And at first, student loans seem really great because there's somebody out there who's going to give you tons of money in order to be able to go to college, but some of us don't understand the realities that lie ahead once we graduate college. Your financial need is probably the reason why you took out student loans in the first place with the hope that once you graduate, you would have a nice job that would be able to pay you enough to live off of as well as to be able to pay your student loans back. But if you're anything like myself, when I graduated college, I didn't know anything about my student loans. I just knew that I had to somehow pay them back. So in this video, I want to give you 11 critical questions that you need to be asking now about your student loans. That way you understand them better as well as have more knowledge to make better decisions about your financial situation and for your financial future. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to the Agape Investing channel. My name is Katie Jones and I am a faith-based money coach and I help young professionals like yourself learn excellent money management skills that are rooted in the gospel. That way you can pursue your God-given calling without any kind of financial hesitation. And one of those things that keeps people from pursuing their unique calling are their student loans. So today I want to give you some practical knowledge about your student loans so you know what questions to be asking and where to find the information to these questions. That way you can save more money in the long run and ultimately pursue your unique calling without any kind of financial hesitation in regards to your student loans. So there are actually a lot of different types of student loans out there, beginning with either federal or private student loans, subsidized or unsubsidized, as well as the interest rates can be different. So you could have a fixed rate or a variable rate loan. So federal student loans are funded by the government, whereas private loans are issued by banks or smaller institutions. If you have a subsidized loan, this means that the government is paying for the interest on the loan until you graduate school. So this means you won't be charged any interest for the time of the loan while you're actually in school. On the other hand, if you have an unsubsidized loan, this means that you are responsible for paying the interest on the loan during the entire life of the loan. And then if you have a fixed rate loan, this means that the interest rate on it is constant for the entire life of the loan. But with a variable loan, your interest rate can adjust as often as monthly with others adjusting every three months. You'll have to start paying your student loans off once you graduate or if you decide to leave early or even if you drop to less than half time enrollment. And generally, you'll need to start paying back your federal student loans around six months after you graduate. Private loans differ from provider to provider, so you'll need to check with your provider if you have any private student loans. A grace period is actually really helpful because it gives students the chance to hopefully find a job within those six months after they graduate. So that way they have the income to be able to start paying back their loans. Most student loan providers will allow you to start paying off your student loans even before you graduate from school. So if you have the ability to start paying your student loans off early, it's a really great way that you can begin to save more money on interest payments. So you can start paying off your loans early even before you are required to start paying them back, as well as you can pay extra each month towards the principal for most student loans. Your monthly loan payments will be determined by your total principal loan amount as well as the interest rate that you have for each student loan. Typically, once your student loans go into repayment, your provider will automatically set up a payment plan for you and let you know how much you owe every single month so you don't have to necessarily do any math. You just need to connect with your provider so you know where and how much you need to be paying for them. 
If your monthly loan payments are a little too much for you to handle right now, or maybe you didn't get a job right after school, you really don't have to worry, especially if you have federal student loans. If you have federal student loans, they offer a lot of different repayment options, including an income-driven repayment program. Entering into a repayment program like this can be super helpful if you need to lower your monthly payments towards your loan. However, it does typically increase the lifetime of the loan as as well as the amount of interest that you're going to be paying on it. So you typically can't make payments on your student loan with a credit card. However, some student loan providers do partner with a third party in order for you to make payments using a credit card. The only reason I may recommend this option is if you had a credit card with 0% APR. However, you have to double check to make sure that you can pay back that credit card in time before an interest rate kicks in because typically credit cards have higher interest rates than student loans traditionally have. So at the end of the day, you might end up paying more if you put it on a credit card versus just paying back the student loan directly. This may be a good option if you're able to find a new loan that has a lower interest rate. That way it lowers your monthly payments as well as saves you money on interest payments in the long run. The only thing to note about refinancing your student loans is if you first start out with a federal student loan, when you refinance, it has to go into a private student loan, which then disqualifies you from any kind of government assistance in the future. So this includes any government forbearance programs, as well as student loan forgiveness programs. Most repayment plans are stretched out to be about 10 years long. However, if you miss any payments on your student loans, or if you consolidate or refinance them, this will extend the lifetime of them. If you're trying to become debt-free sooner, I recommend making overpayments towards your principal. This will ultimately save you time and money in the long run, and it's generally a good idea for most situations. If you want to find out exactly when you can become debt-free, I recommend using a debt payoff calculator and tracker in order to figure out when you can become debt free when you make certain amount of overpayments. You can grab the debt payoff calculator that I actually used when I was becoming debt free in the show notes below. If you're even one day late paying off your student loans, it's considered delinquent. Hopefully it doesn't come down to this, but if you do miss a few payments, there are some short-term as well as long-term consequences for it. Some of those consequences include late fees, withheld tax refunds, or wage garnishments, as well as default or payment becoming due immediately, credit scores dropping, and even potential lawsuits. According to Bankrate, even though your loan provider will consider your loan delinquent immediately after one payment, your lender or loan servicer might not report you as late to the major credit bureaus until you're at least 90 days past due. So your student loans don't have to be your best friends, but nor do they need to be your worst enemies. The key to understanding and conquering your student loans is to ask good questions and then use that information to empower you to make Make the best financial decisions for yourself and for your financial future. I don't want you to let the cost of your higher education stop you from pursuing your unique calling. If you're feeling really overwhelmed with your student loan situation and you're not really sure what next steps to take, I'd love to invite you on a one-on-one -on -one call with myself so that way we can create a plan together to pay back your student loans sooner than you thought possible and create the financial future that you've always dreamed for yourself. That way, you can pursue kingdom building activities without any kind of financial hesitation. Be sure to set up a call with myself using the link in the show notes below. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and comment down below if you have any other questions in regards to your student loans. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the practical and biblical money tip videos that I share. See you next time.